Ted Nugent is back in the spotlight after spouting violent extremist political talk again. Nugent launched his violent tirades back in 2007 when he came out on stage with a gun and threatened presidential candidate Barack Obama. I was in Chicago last week. I was in Chicago. I said, hey, Obama, you might want to suck at one of these, you punk. You don't get that. Obama, he's a piece of shit. And I told him to suck at my machine gun. What's here for him? The tirade this time was at the 2012 NRA convention where Nugent was stumping for the presumptive Republican presidential nominee, Mitt Romney. And in order to be one stone cold, hell raising bad mofo, each and every one of you, if you can't get a couple of hundred people each, each of you, some of you, I bet you can get a couple thousand. Your goal should be able to get a couple of thousand people per person who's here to vote for Mitt Romney in November. It's that serious. If you don't know that our government is wiping its ass with the Constitution, you're living under a rock someplace. And that there's a dead soldier, an airman, a marine, a, a, a seaman, a, a, a hero of the military that just got his legs blown off for the U.S. Constitution. And we got a president and attorney general who doesn't even like the Constitution. We got four Supreme Court justices who don't believe in the Constitution. Does everybody know here that four of the Supreme Court justices not only determined you don't have the right to keep and bear arms, four Supreme Court justices signed their name to a declaration that Americans have no fundamental right to self-defense. That sounds like a stoned hippie. That doesn't sound like a Supreme Court anything. It sounds like a supremely intellectually vacuous punk. To think that a human could think that humans don't have a basic right to self-defense is so bizarre to me as to my brain can't accept the information. And if you want more of those kinds of evil, anti-American people in the Supreme Court, then don't get involved and let Obama take office again. Because I tell you this right now, if Barack Obama becomes the president in November again, I will either be dead or in jail by this time next year. You're like, why are you laughing? You think that's funny? That's not funny at all. I'm serious as a heart attack. Many feel that Nugent should or has caught the attention of the Secret Service with comments such as these. And get everybody you know to get involved and engage because it isn't the enemy that ruined America. It's good people who bent over and let the enemy in. If the coyote's in your living room pissing on your couch, it's not the coyote's fault. It's your fault for not shooting him. So it, it's an important time. So you're talking about exhibits, you're talking about hardware and ammo and everybody's fondling sporting goods and everybody's got a big old sexy grin on their face because they're surrounded by ballistic celebration. That's cool, but what I feel in this room is I feel this. I feel this. I'm not taking this crap anymore. I've about had it. And if you take that adamant we the people defiance, remember we're Americans because we defied the king. We didn't negotiate and compromise with the king. We defied the emperors. We are patriots. We are braveheart. We need to ride into that battlefield and chop their heads off in November. Am I, any questions? Shortly after this hit the news cycle, DNC chairperson Debbie Washerman Schultz tweeted, Romney surrogate Ted Nugent's comments about President Obama are vile and beyond the pale and the Romney campaign should denounce them immediately. The Romney campaign gave a lame response with just an email from Andrea Saul stating, divisive language is offensive no matter what side of the political aisle it comes from. Mitt Romney believes everyone needs to be civil. Which musician from the left is being uncivil the way Ted Nugent is? Can you imagine what would have been the response if the Dixie Chicks attacked President Bush with that type of rhetoric? The radio station set up these garbage cans for people to throw out their CDs. USA! 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 Will conservatives react the same way and crush Ted Nugent CDs 
for attacking a president during wartime as they did to the Dixie Chicks in 2004. There ain't no way, there ain't no way the Chicks are country. They, they've showed their true colors. We left George W. They should be shot for saying something like that. Ed Schultz discussed the Ted Nugent controversy with Eugene Robinson on his show. Ted Nugent, he's not backing down. In fact, he believes Mitt Romney agrees with him. Mitt Romney is a great American. Mitt Romney believes in the First Amendment. Mitt Romney knows what I'm saying is true. He puts it into words for him. I put it into words for me. I'm joined tonight by Eugene Robinson, MSNBC political analyst and associate editor and Pulitzer Prize winning columnist for the Washington Post. Eugene, great to have you with us. It's about rhetoric at this point, no doubt. The Romney campaign jumped all over Hillary Rosen's comments. Even though she's not a part of the Obama campaign, Hillary Rosen was not inciting violence. Why hasn't Mitt Romney condemned these comments from Ted Nugent, and do you think he needs to do that? Well, first of all, it, 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 what Hillary Rosen said was in politics. This, there's no comparison between that and this. This is different, not just in degree, but in kind, because uh, there's not just criticism, there's not just political incorrectness or whatever in what Nugent was saying. There's actual menace there. Uh, it's no surprise to me that the Secret Service has decided uh, to at least look into this, because if, frankly, he sounds somewhat delusional, in, and, and it's delusional people you, you need to watch out for uh, historically. So this is, this is com completely different. Uh, add to that the fact that Mitt Romney went out of his way to try to get Ted Nugent's endorsement. That's the story right there. I mean, this, this, this candidate went out and sought his support because he knows he's in the sack with these NRA guys. He knows that you saw all those guys standing around watching him, agreeing with what he was saying. That's who Mitt Romney needs to get. He has to shore up that base. Romney sought this guy out to be an, as an endorsement. Shouldn't that be enough for the Romney campaign to be connected at the hip to this guy? Well, that should be more than more than enough, and certainly more than enough for a, for a, a stronger statement, at least. Right? You know, I mean, they, what they ought to do is just cut that guy off. But at least a strong, stronger statement than this sort of, you know, both sides should be nice sort of sort of thing that that they like to do. I mean, you know, the the, the most chilling thing to me about the the clips you played are the people who are just kind of nodding oh, along I as they not. listen to this 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 screed. Uh, it it. it and you, you, you know, at, at, at an NRA convention, my, my, uh, really, it is spooky. I mean, there is a portion of our society; those people are followers. They can't think for themselves, and for them to sit there and just nod their head when this guy is saying, "What we need to do on election day is chop their heads off." Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, let me lighten it up just a little bit here as we <laughs> as we move forward. What's more problematic for Romney, Ted Nugent, or Bertha Donald Trump hosting a fundraiser for the Romney campaign tonight? <laughs> oh boy, you. Could kind of, you can kind of pick six on that one. I don't, I don't know which that way I would go. That is a pick six. There's no we, doubt it's a pick six. We got to we got to see what the Trumpster has in mind. There's no doubt. Well, great to have you with us tonight, Eugene. The rhetoric just continues on, but it duly pointed out tonight that Mitt Romney gave a lame statement. He did not give a definitive statement. And I think, again, it's a question of leadership. Eugene Robinson, great to have you with us. Thank you. Good to be here.